I am Anil Kumar. Let's continue with vectors dot product. The question here is, you are given vector u equals to 2 comma minus 3, vector v is 3 minus 2. You need to find dot product of these vectors, that is vector u dot vector v, and part b is to find angle between these two vectors. You can always pause the video solve the question and check with my solution. The formula for dot product is what? We can begin with that. u dot v is equal to magnitude of u times magnitude of v times cos of angle between them. Let's call it angle theta. Now whenever you have components, this is in the component form we basically say that 2 is along the x direction, 3 is along the y direction. So just to give you an idea of what we are talking about before we begin uh, using the dot product itself, uh, we are saying u is 2 minus 3, that means going 2 units, right? And then 3 units down, 1, 2, 3. So that is the vector u for us. Okay is 3 units, right? V is 3 minus 2. That means you go 3 units, right? And 1, 2, that position. So that is the vector V. Okay, slight mistake. That's okay. And theta is the angle between these two. That is how you would actually sketch the vectors. But when we say u dot v, we are multiplying their components, right? So if I multiply 2 with 3, so so this 2 and 3, in the first case, let's say 2 is this, right? And uh, 3 for v will be this, correct? Now when they are in the same direction, cos theta is 0, so their product is 1, correct? So, so when you do that, you could also use, we could say u dot v is equal to 2 times 3 cos theta, which is 0, right? So I'm purposely doing a longer method to show you why it is as simple as writing 6, right? So, so this angle is... 0. So cos of 0 is 1. Remember that. So we know, I'll write down here. Cos of 0 degrees is 1 and cos of 90 degrees is 0. Correct. So when I multiply 2 and 3, so I get here 2 times 3 and the angle between them is 0 and therefore it's 1. So we just don't write that. We write 2 times 3, right? And then we do 2 times minus 2. Now you're now multiplying the component x component 2 with minus 2, which is this component. Do you see this component? Now they make, if you place them tail to tail, they make an angle of 90 degrees. And cos of 90 is 0, right? Cos of 90 is 0. Therefore, 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4 times cos of 90, 0, is not written. So directly, whenever we do dot product, we normally prefer to just write 2 times 3, that is multiply their x components, and then add product of their y components. Because they are in the same direction, cos of angle 0 is 1, right? Multiplying y component with x component results into cos of 90 degrees, which is 0, results into 0, right? So that's why dot product is so simple to use, correct? So we get 2 times 3, and then we get plus of minus 3 times minus 2. You get an idea, right? So we could write dot product like this. So that is... 2 minus 3 dot 
3 minus 2. Is it okay? So multiply 2 and 3 and then this. You get 6 minus minus is plus 6 which is equal to 12. So the dot product which is always a scalar quantity in our case the answer is 12. I hope this is absolutely clear. Now part 2 is find angle between the above vectors. I just showed you these vectors. So that is our vector u, this is vector v. Angle between them, let's say, is theta. So the formula is u dot v is u v cos theta magnitudes. So cos theta could be written as dot product of the two vectors divided by their magnitude product. Perfect. Now u dot v is 12, so we could always write this as 12, we just calculated, divided by magnitude, magnitude of u will be square root of 2 square plus minus 3 square, right? That's the magnitude of u times magnitude of v, which is 3 square plus minus 2 square, is it okay? Now, that gives us 12 divided by 4 plus 9 which is 13 so square root of 13 times square root of 13 which is 12 over 13 so theta is equal to cos inverse of 12 over 13 which is let's calculate So it is shift cos inverse 12 divided by 13 bracket close equal to 22.6 degrees, right? So that is our answer. So the angle between these two vectors is 22.6 degrees, correct? So that is how you find the angle. And I hope you have also understood uh, why in dot product we just multiply the Component, same component, x components together and add to the product of y components. If it is R3, z components will be added, right? So the answer for first one is 12 and for the second one, theta is 22.6 degrees. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always like my videos, share them with your friends and post questions. Thank you and all the best.